was gonna take you to my hideout. But first, I gotta rescue my friends at their gelatonium factory. This far in a while, but a lot of swamp acid between here and the Mortz's gelatonium factory. Those beetles appear to have no issue with the acidic swamp water. Speedles, yeah. That's why I'm gonna ride one. As soon as I can get close enough. Here by, I hope. Ratchet, can you read me? Oh dear, my communicator. Oh. This wasn't what was in my account last time. Oh, that is because I added our mutual friend on Nefarious City. Okay. It's like that. some dimensional distortion is emanating from that cave. And the last speedle runs into that rift. Alright, smarty bot. What is this place? I, um, a dimensional pocket? Perhaps a symptom of the Dimensionator's destruction. How do you come up with this stuff? Hey, it's Maynard, the Mortz's helper bot. Must have wandered in through the rift somehow. There is the Speedle. No, no, don't hide! Ugh, 
hitting its nest might get its attention. <laughs> Get away from this acid. Come on, Maynard! Let's find the morts! Factory. I'm coming, Mortz. We didn't. 
follow that Lombax and his robo-pet across dimensions just to get stopped by some fuzzballs. So you got like nine and a half seconds to tell us where they're at. One. <laughs> Hang on there now. See, they are looking for Ratchet. I am telling the truth. Whatever, Bolts. I'm gonna save my friends. Hey, I know where you can find a Lombax. Another Lombax? Tell us where your friend is, Rosalina. Where are these doofuses coming from? Perhaps they were sucked through the dimensional vortex as well. <laughs> take care of it. Oh, and to keep you all busy while I'm gone, got this at Zerky's. Mort can finally fix that ship she's been working on. Zerky's? Oh, those pirates didn't give you any trouble, did they? Eh, only a little. You can give this to Mort yourself once you get her from that purple mess over there. Take a look. I have some experience with dimensional anomalies. I... sure. Greetings! Welcome! How did you get in here? Where exactly is, um, here? Oh, you don't know? Well, I don't either. It appears to be a space between dimensions. Could be nothing. Could be a cascading entropic fissure that will soon turn the entire universe into a formless soup. Time will tell. Oh, 
Oh dear. Well, I am Clank. Please allow me to help. Right, yes, Clank! I am the all-seeing cosmic prophet of interdimensional sector 2255 phase Omega. But you can call me Gary. Here we are, Clank! Former Warbot, uh, teamed up with the Lombax, became a hero. Who good for you? Ooh, ooh, friend of my father. I see. Your father? You might just be the one I've been waiting for. Would you like to help me fix the dimensions? You know how to fix the dimensions? And why are there copies of me running around? They're your possibilities, the key to repairing the tsunami. But first, pick up that nearby sphere. It's a lift sphere. It can reduce the gravity on any object it touches. It seems your possibilities are what keeps an anomaly from collapsing. They look like you because that's how you interpret dimensionality. But, as you can see, they've lost their way. If you can guide them to the Meta-Terminal ahead, you'll begin to repair this anomaly. Now, enter the Meta-Terminal and you'll be one step closer to fixing this dimensional anomaly. I feel like things are slowly starting to make sense, dimensionally speaking. Ah, a speed sphere. That'll get you moving. I bet some extra speed could make quick work of that barrier. Do you live on Sargasso too, Gary? Savali, actually. <clears throat> I've been studying in the archives. It's the greatest repository of dimensional knowledge I've ever seen. a little pick-me-up. device may be able to redirect my possibilities. There must be a way to activate it. Outstanding! You seem to be a 
I'm natural at this play. I am cautiously optimistic. I feel myself learning something by completing these puzzles, but I cannot explain what it is. The words will come to you when you are...